feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, OnePlus have started rolling out official version of Oxygen OS 13.1 for OnePlus 11. And OnePlus 11 is the last device to receive Oxygen OS 13.1. We have seen OnePlus 10 Pro receiving, OnePlus 9 Pro, even OnePlus 11 R have got this update. But this update adds one of the best features which we have been seeing in the change logs, but never saw on those devices which received Oxygen OS 13. So in this video, we'll talk about that feature and other changes what OnePlus have done with oneplus 11 oxygen os 13.1 update so without wasting any more time let's get started so here i have my oneplus 11 i've already updated the device let me show you the software information now you can see it says oxygen os version is 13.1 if you go to android version android version is 13 this update comes with 5th may 2023 security patch and talking about the version, version is .501. The update size was around 1.15 GB. And as always, if you guys haven't received the update, I'll try to provide the download links in the description below. Just download the file, place it inside the internal storage, go to version, tap on the build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now, go to Oxygen OS version, then go to update section, tap on these three dots and you will find a local install option. By tapping on it, you can select the file which you have downloaded. First, let's talk about the benchmark results. So we did benchmark testing with high performance mode turned on and these are the results using Geekbench application wherein single core had scored 1954 and multi core scores are 5118. But if we compare it with the previous build scores, you can see these were the scores on the previous build wherein single core scores were 1981 and multi core scores were 5225. Slightly lower scores are to be seen with this newer build. Then talking about CPU throttling, so here you can see this time we did the CPU throttling test of 100 thread up to 30 minutes, not even 60 minutes, wherein maximum CPU throttled only 60% and this was done in high performance mode. On previous build, we did the test of 100 thread up to 60 minutes and there maximum CPU throttled 53%. So throttling issues are still present on OnePlus smartphones even with Oxygen OS 13.1. And guys now before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also press the subscribe button that will motivate us in making better quality content. With Oxygen OS 13.1, you guys won't find much of UI changes, minor UI changes you guys will obviously notice, but there are some changes which are done on 13.1 but are not mentioned in the change logs for that yesterday we had done a dedicated video you guys can see that video on the screen in which we have talked about all the features and changes done on oxygen os 13 so it's a must watch video do check it out now let's talk about one of the feature which is not being added on any of the smartphone running oxygen os 13.1 and that's under connection and sharing so multi-screen connect feature they have added on oneplus 11 it was present on color os since 13.0 and if I show you my OnePlus 10 Pro on this also, this feature is not added if we go to settings, connection and sharing and here you can see multi-screen connect feature is not added here also. And if I show you the Oxygen OS build going to about section, this is my OnePlus 10 Pro running 13.1. I'll tell you how this feature works but I'll also be doing a dedicated video on this feature because it's a very useful feature which I have noticed now after it came on my OnePlus 11. So if you tap on multi-screen so here you'll see it says OnePlus pad and besides that it says same account. So here I have my OnePlus pad on which I have my OnePlus account added and it will automatically show me the devices which have my OnePlus account added. On OnePlus 11 it shows OnePlus pad and here you can see it says OnePlus 11. You can also do screen mirroring, your content will be synced. One of the example which I'll show you. So here let me open up our website. So here you'll notice something. If I copy some content from here, long pressing and I'll copy the content. If I copy, you'll see a pop-up here of a clipboard and directly on this device, which is my OnePlus pad, I can paste that particular content. So here you can see the content which we copied from OnePlus 11 now can be directly pasted on my OnePlus pad and it's vice versa. For example, if I copy something from here, that should pop up here on my 
OnePlus 11. And also Chrome is running on my OnePlus 11. Here you can see a small icon besides the Chrome. If I open Chrome, that will open the page which is opened on my OnePlus 11. I just have to, I just have to allow the screencast. This will get minimized and here you can see that page pops up on my OnePlus pad. So you can do a lot of things using this feature and it's a very useful feature for me. I'll still do a dedicated video exploring everything about this new feature on OnePlus smartphones. Also, if you go to gallery, now there is a new section called compatibilities. On previous build, we only had the option to convert images for sharing from HEIF format to JPEG. But now there's a new option called convert videos for sharing, wherein you can convert HDR videos to SDR before sharing. With this 13.1, we do get two different Zen modes. One is Deep Zen and the second one is Light Zen. You guys let us know how many of you guys use the Zen mode on OnePlus smartphones. I forgot to show you guys the change logs. Change logs did not mention much. As you can see, the change logs are related to personalization, health and gaming experience. There is nothing stated about the multi-screen connect. When it comes to change logs related to gaming experience, they say they have added the champion mode, but that mode was already present on OnePlus smartphones. So if I open any game, you can see champion mode, it's there in the game space application. But as I told you guys, this thing was already present on OnePlus 11. Other than that, I did not notice any changes in the game space application. There are two things which I'm not sure whether it was present or not. One of them is the screenshot and the second one is the voice changer. So now you can use the voice changer option in the games like PUBG also. As far as I remember on previous builds, we were not able to use this thing. And later, they also added this music tile for those people who are interested in listening music while gaming. Also, I tested out gaming. After this update, I played BGMI and Call of Duty. I did notice a little bit of improvements in the gaming segment. Did not notice much of frame drops. But still, I'll be testing out this device thoroughly. We'll start using this device as my primary phone and we'll drop an in-depth review. You guys already know, before posting an in-depth review, I'll create a community poll. So if you guys have any kind of questions, either you guys can leave them under this video comment section or else you can put them whenever I post a community post. So guys, this was all about the latest update of oneplus 11 which is oxygen os 13.1 as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day